We just made three versions of those tiny little houses that you see on Pinterest. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? We do too. And we do it every week. This week, we're making some tiny houses. We got a request to do some tiny houses, so we're going to make some. These are those cute little tiny houses. You've probably seen them scrolling through Pinterest because that's where I saw them. They usually sit on like an entryway table or on a mantle, maybe on a desk, you know, cute little things. They just stand on their own. Looks like you know, a little city. You know, you've seen them. You've seen them around. <laughs> so we're going to give you three versions, a good, better, best. You guys seem to like that the last three times we did it. So we're doing it again. Tiny house version number one. We're going super simple, crazy easy. Yes. This is the one with the least amount of detail. We're just going to simply use a board. Here we have a two by three, a two by four, and a, what is that? Two by six. Or eight? I don't know what that is. Two by, I'll measure it here in a second. Two by six. <laughs> two okay, by six. and a two by six. And all we're going to do is put a little roof on them. So cut them to the proper height, and then cut little, starting from the center, cut some angles doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to know exactly what the angle measurement is. Just cut a yeah. cute little roof on it. A cute little roof. Super rustic. And I'm going to make all of my cuts with... What do you think it'll be? <laughs> a pocket saw! Let me get out of the way. <laughs> Now we're gonna throw some sandpaper all over them, kind of rough them up, round them up, like they've been tossed around for a while, like they've been lived in. <laughs> lived in. Back with our blocks, all rounded off, looking a little rustic, a little tumbled, but uh, lived in. Lived in? That's right. <laughs> now we're going to give them a paint job. But it's not going to be a good looking paint job. Yeah, we're just going to slap a coat of paint on them. Slap some paint on them. Alright, so these two are in white. This right. one is in this Annie Sloan's French linen. Here French goes. linen. Okay, <laughs> while these dry, we're gonna cut out our stencils for the front of our little tiny houses. Back with our stencils. Uh, I made that SVG. I think we bought that SVG. Mm -hmm. And I stole that SVG. What? All right. I think they're pretty dry. Maybe not. But dry enough. Got the stencils on. Now we're just going to swap. We're just going to flip the colors. A little flippy dude. Like that. Quick little thin, super thin layer Sorry, babe. Okay. of Mod Podge and then you don't let it dry. You just come right in. I also heard you can use the base coat. We'll try it. We'll try the base coat. Yeah, a thin it's a layer great of the idea. base coat. Yeah. And then your top coat. So we're gonna try that one. Got some tips. Barely dry. Thin coat. Alright, now I'm just going to paint it. Okay, our stencils are painted. We're just going to peel back the vinyl now. You don't have to wait for that paint to dry. 
um, maybe just a minute or two. But the more it dries, the more likely it'll peel the paint when you peel the stencil, so. You try to go against the grain. The feet didn't come out, so I'm uh, drying them back on. Is that how you're going to set them up? I think Something so, like yeah. Alright, what do you guys think? This is super simple. Some scrap wood, some paint, a little stencil. I think they're Super so easy. cute. They're, oh, I almost knocked it over. They're adorable. And our little birds here, we have six kids, so that's six little birdies <laughs> and me and Garrett. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I love it. Tiny houses number two. <laughs> well, they're not so tiny now. We're going to use a one by 10 and a one by eight. Again, some scraps and then uh, some one by two scraps for a little frame around it. I will say I envisioned something more like a 1x4 and a 1x6, but... Oh, that's too tiny. <laughs> yeah, our tiny houses are going to be a little bit less tiny than I thought. <laughs> They're going to be just the right size. All right, we're going to cut a little roof into each of these boards, put a little 45 in each of these. I'm going to make all my cuts with my pocket saw. You guys just saw that one. Same joke. Same video. Simple little cuts, already looking like a house. Now we're just gonna paint the backs and stain the frames, all my little frame pieces. I'm gonna stain the frames in Jacobean and we're going to paint the little houses in this Andy Sloan country gray. I'm not shaking them anymore. <laughs> Time for the stencils. Again, I just found these SVGs on Etsy, design bundles, one of those. I'll leave the link down below. Design oh. bundles. Was it design bundles? Yeah. It was design bundles. I'll leave the link down below. Did you guys know that we hit 30,000 subscribers? Whoop whoop. Thank you guys, that means a lot to us. And because of that, we're gonna do a live stream and then we're going to do a special live stream for our patrons over there on Patreon. Well, I guess that's where it would be, yeah. <laughs> It'll be our first live stream. We've never done that before. We've never done it. I have to do some research. I don't even know how to do a live stream. A little nervous. Yeah, definitely nervous. I don't usually have troubles with something to say. I usually have plenty to say, but I'm a little worried maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are going to have to comment and interact with us. Definitely. Quick little thin coat of base coat. It worked out well. So I'm gonna do it again. I already have the paint. I already have the brush. All right, we just hit it with the heat gun just a little bit to take the, the big moisture out. Whatever big moisture means. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? We gotta put the. Uh, oh, yeah, I was overzealous. Gotta put the black down now. Alright, here you go. Pull against the grain. Ah, looking cute already, huh? Don't even have a frame on them yet. Don't even look lived in. <laughs> so we're gonna take that little frame that we made and we're gonna glue it and tack it down with a, a one inch bread. Uh, the nail, not the guy. Bam! Look at those cozy little things. <laughs> Cute, All right? right? 
version two, a little more intricate, a little more detailed. What do you think? Not too shabby. Some more scrap wood. All right, not too bad. Version number three. Again, with some scrap wood, we have some scrap plywood laying around. We had two pieces. So we're gonna cut again, cut a little roof in this piece. Ow! Cut a little roof in this piece. And then we're gonna make a frame. So we gotta make all of our cuts. But I can't use the pocket saw on this one. For this one, we're gonna use the jigsaw. So I'm gonna find the center, I'm gonna draw up my lines, and then I'm gonna see if I can follow it with the jigsaw. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> That's what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Kim. <laughs> He's the worst. I am the worst. I might have to help with that. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll make the cuts. Yeah, he doesn't have the steadiest hand when it comes to that jigsaw. <laughs> I do not. I am not a sawsman. Sawsman, he always uses that made up term. <laughs> is it made up? I think it is. Is it made up? Check me, fact check me. <laughs> Got our little house shapes once again with a little frame. Everything's a little bit bigger. Maybe I should have called it big, bigger, and biggest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the next size will not be a regular size house. We're stopping at this <laughs> yeah. size. <laughs> now it's time for paint and stain. Back to the paint and the staining. All right, well this dries, we're gonna jump over to the Glowforge and cut out our pop. Now it's time to assemble it. We're gonna glue this piece together using this little house. <laughs> and we're gonna tack it together. Now we're gonna tag it with a one inch bread. The nail, not the guy. Oh, now we're gonna now we're gonna put the frame on it. Alright, that's what we got so far. Now we gotta add the little pop. Gotta get that thing out of the glue forge. Be right back. Back with my pieces. Um, remember, they're already painted. We just have to pull all the tape off, all the little masking tape. Time to glue it down. Using that clear Gorilla glue again. Bad news though, I can't pick it up and show it to yeah, you yet. <laughs> we're gonna have to let it dry. So we'll uh, we'll be back in like uh, five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> That'll do it. Five minutes. Five minutes. The next day. All right, what do you guys think? What do you think about our tiny little houses? Can you see them? Can you see them from there? Here, I'll hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> things are just tiny, aren't they? As usual, they just get bigger and bigger when we start to execute. In my head, they were three sets of small houses. Oh, in my head, they uh, got bigger each step. So <laughs> it worked out. We kind of struggled with this last one. We, we did. We really didn't know what to do. So, you know, we posted on social media that we felt like it was too plain. What could we do? Somebody said, a sun and a tree. We like the tree idea, so I threw some birds in there, tie it back to this one over here. Yeah. Tie it back. But, uh, I don't know. 
It still feels to me like it's missing a little something. It isn't exactly what I envisioned in my head. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a completed project, but not exactly what I was looking for. Not enough pizzazz. If you had seen it before, the tree wasn't there and it was just the home sign and the teal background, which I like the pop of color, but then that was it. It was just a pop yeah. of color, it was like a giant a, pop of color. Like a pop and fizzle. So. <laughs> so I didn't know what else to put in there. So maybe you can give me your thoughts on what you would have put in there or how you might have dressed it up because how can we I just, was struggling. How can we just finish it from here? I don't know. Yeah, good I, point. I, I like it, but it's not my favorite. I think the middle ones are my favorite. Yeah, these are cute, and I these like how they kind of go together. It says, welcome to our beautiful chaos, stay a while. I thought that was really cute. Yeah. And then these little guys over here are really cute as well. I, You can't probably see the detail, but this little window with the cat sitting in it watching the birds is so cute, so adorable. Get out the way! That's not funny. <laughs> no, I, I can't do the process. So I gotta stare at the top of this one. I have to stare at the top of two. We'll see you next week, where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Alright, thumbnail. Crowd in, everybody. Everybody, get in here. Come, Come on. on. Get in here, everybody. Thumbnail. <laughs> hey, you. You want in? Front, in? straighten up. You want in? Right. Better get in here. <laughs>